Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. And we are here for the June, um, no. <laughs> and we are here for the May 2023 Blu-ray audit. I have with yeah. me my lovely wife, Michelle, who I love dearly. Oh yeah, he's... Putting every, it on thick right every now. Every single time we do one of these audits, I, I I love you so much. Oh, yeah. So, uh, but I honestly, I think that this audit's going to go well. I think it's going to go well. Okay. The stack seems big, but I did get quite a few, uh, you know, review copies and, and things of that nature. So gotcha. It shouldn't be too bad. And I do still like to show off the review copies and stuff because they were sent to me. So, I like to give them another go and another showcase one last showcase for the month before we get into it hit the subscribe button if you haven't already we do fun physical media content on this channel well mostly me um but on our channel married with media we do movie reviews we do tv reviews we do entertainment live streams so yep. go subscribe over there we just uh you know came up with a new schedule this past month we're doing we two videos plus a live stream every single week so plenty yep. of content going on over there hit the subscribe button it's down below in the description. So, all right, uh, let's get into it. You want to you want to tell them how it works first? Yeah. So for those that are new, you know, some people may not have right? uh, checked this out before. Yeah. So every month at the end of the month, um, Ken gets all his movies together that he's purchased or has been sent, um, and uh, we add up the price and we see how much he spent for the month. Yeah. Because I feel like you know throughout the month you're not really. Thinking about it too much, maybe a little bit, but you kind of don't have an I, I idea do. of what you spend. I, well, that's kind of why I started these because I do like try to track it now. Like in my head, I am tracking it like all month long. Right. Uh, but I will say there's several things that I pre ordered this month. Um, several things that I pre-ordered this month that are not going to be on this. They're going to be in the actual like month that they came out. Some of them that I pre-ordered don't even come out till like August. So, so basically June is going to be bad. <laughs> well, no, cause they're spread out. I've got some stuff pre-ordered in June. I, I didn't get my vinegar syndrome sales stuff in. So that, that's the big one. And I'm not going to get that in like showgirls and all that stuff. I'm not going to get that in until mm -hmm. probably, uh, mid June. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so let, mm -hmm. let's let's get into it. We'll start with um, we'll start with cliffhanger. Okay. All right. You want to feel this? You usually pick the titles, don't you? Yeah, I just didn't know where you wanted me to start. Ooh, it's it's a steel book. It's a steel book. It's, book. it's a very nice steel book, a matte finish steel book. Yeah. Um. So that was twenty nine ninety nine. Is this uh, uh, still still Celeste? <laughs> <laughs> you can't say his name, can you? Still. Oh my gosh, say his name for me. Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone. Stallone. You can just call him Sly. Oh my God, that was uh, brutal. How much did you say? Uh, that was $29.99, <laughs> and that is a 29 4K steel book. Now, they already did a 4K of Cliffhanger, and I do own the 4K of Cliffhanger, but that sorry, steel book was just too nice to pass up. This is like very grainy. <laughs> Yeah, I I don't like love the, the back, quality, but I do like the the front of it. Okay. You know, it's it's the classic poster. Like this is the classic cliffhanger poster. I mean, you know, um, what can I say? I can't even say his name. And so. I, I think it looks really good on the steel book. So I mean, it's Sylvester Stallone. I, I had to get it. Okay. I had to get All it. Right. Um, I also got this movie's pretty much the anti Sylvester Stallone because right. he wasn't in it, but this is uh, Creed three, mm -hmm. uh, which I did get sent to me, uh, you know, for review by Warner Brothers, so we don't have to include this in the total. But um, yeah, I watched this, I reviewed it. The more and more I think about it, the more I just I really didn't like this movie all that much. Gotcha. Um, but so you're I not you're not sad that we didn't make it to the theater then. I'm not because I feel like I would have been disappointed in, yeah. in the theater as well. So I'm good with it. I feel like you gave it. me a lot of crap for not going to see it with I, you. I'm good with it. Um, I got. We also got this Knock of the Cabin Steelbook, which I haven't even unboxed or unwrapped or anything yet. But we watched this on Peacock. I did. I did enjoy it. I think you did yeah. as well, even though we didn't really do a review on that one. We didn't. Um, but I thought it was pretty good. And I really like the artwork on this. Some people didn't. But I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's cool. That yeah. looks like people. I will say though, I feel like I saw another movie that has similar artwork. I feel like there there has been another steel book kind of like this before. 
Um, I just can't think of what it is. Yeah. But yeah, I, I oh, like I, actually, it. Actually, I think it's the um, the the new movie coming out, the Boogeyman. I feel oh. like I feel like they released a poster that kind of looks similar to this. You might be right. It might be. A, yeah. Maybe they're using like a similar artist or something for that poster and this one. But but yeah, I think um, it's cool. This was very steep. Steelbooks are getting out of control recently. Are they? Um, I mean, the price with, of with, steel is going With up. certain studios like Universal <laughs> and Disney, $38.99 for the Steelbook. Oh, my gosh. But I just, I wanted it um, because I did like the movie and I really like the Steelbook. So I just, I just grabbed it impulsively. Okay. And so you didn't get this one sent to you? No, I did not. Oh, okay. I, I did purchase this at Best Buy for $38.99. Uh, so you okay. can add that one to the total. Thirty eight ninety nine. Yeah, pretty expensive, but uh, I've heard it looks really great in four K. So, what do you got there? Yeah, I got so. the Linnea Quigley Horror Workout, um, and this one was twenty four ninety nine for this. Mm. So, yeah, I. Um, and then I'll just set it down, and we'll move on. Right, right. Yeah, I was. Uh, I had seen this one popping up on Instagram. I had seen other people share about it. Yeah. And then you get a package <laughs> and you've got it too. What did you think when you saw everybody showing it off? You, you thought that I wasn't going to get it? Well, I just thought you might know better. But um, clearly... Well, look, it's not it's not a porn. It's a kind of... I think it's like a workout video parody that kind of doubles as a horror you movie as even, well. You don't even know. I don't know what it... But from what I've heard, it's a narrative. Um, like, it has a story, but it's in within the framework of, like, an 80s workout video. And it's led by Linnea Quigley, who's, like, you know, a horror icon of the 80s. She was in Return of the Living Dead. Um, she's the girl with the red hair that dances naked on the grave in Return of the Living Dead. Uh, you don't like she's her? She's the worst part of she, that movie. She turns into a zombie and um, the whole so thing. So what else she's is she iconic. in? What else is she um, in? Night of the Demons. Um, some other stuff. She's exactly. in a lot of stuff. I, I exactly. Know, I know. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. Like she she was in uh, Savage Streets. Um, a lot of movies in the 80s. I just can't think of all of them off the top of my head. I just don't see why you need that. I really don't. Um I, it's just, and they make it seem so weird because it's like, see, sexy young girls die in a slumber party massacre. I just, I thought it was. It's like sometimes you see. Why something do you want to like, see that? I mean, the colors just pop on it. The orange, the greens. It's Terror Vision, and I haven't like, purchased a Terror Vision release, and it's really nice quality. It's Vinegar no. Syndrome level quality, and I don't know. I just, I just wanted it, and I knew it would be kind of limited. I knew it would run out. I saw it had like two hundred and something in stock left, and. I pulled the trigger. It's it's embossed, you know, and it's just, it's nice. It, don't you think it's nice? Yeah. Nice. I'm sorry. We'll move on uh, to a more lighthearted feature, and mm -hmm. that is uh, Thelma and Louise: The Criterion. Um, and I thought that we could watch this together. I feel like this is one you would uh, you know want to check out. You like Gina Davis, right? Susan Sarandon. You yeah. You're a fan of Beetlejuice, and I've heard some really good things. It's women criminals on the run. Gotcha. So, I mean, um, that's a nice, like, you know. Yeah, this set. is the, I rarely ever buy Criterion's new, because mm -hmm. I always just wait for the sale, but when I saw that this was a nice, like, digipack release, I just had to pick it up day one. Okay, how much was it? Uh, this was thirty four ninety nine. Okay. So, in like, in two months, it would be twenty four ninety nine. so I okay. should have waited, but I just couldn't. Um, and then I got uh, the Nutty Professor, the original Nutty Professor on 4K with Jerry Lewis. Have you seen this one? I have not. I've only seen the Eddie Murphy one. He looks very nutty, though. This would be a fun one to watch with the kids, I think. So mm -hmm. I would like to save it and we could all watch it together. Or maybe not. You know, it's an older movie, so maybe they won't <laughs> like it. But I feel like this is a fun one. It's the same premise as the Nutty Professor. It's just... He's not fat in this one. He's just a real, he's just a super nerd. Mm -hmm. And then he takes the elixir and he becomes super cool. Just like in, you know, gotcha. the Nutty Professor movie. Um, but yeah, this was pretty expensive. These Paramount Presents are, don't, aren't cheap. And this was thirty four ninety nine. Oh wow! for this one. So it's pretty much the same price as a Criterion uh, no, for the 4K pretty, of that. Uh, pricey. Uh, this is the Night of the Hunter. Great movie. I watched it for the first time last year. And this is the 4K Kino Lobo release. This was uh, twenty six ninety nine. Ordered this off of the Kino Lorber uh, website, which is a little bit cheaper on there, surprisingly, than it is on Amazon. So I'm assuming that that's like an old movie, and it is in black and white. Yes, this is from nineteen fifty five. Okay. Great movie. Like this guy's like um, 
like stalking this family and it's uh yeah it's a it's an awesome movie for the 50s it's mm -hmm. it has like a tone that's rarely seen in the in the 50s interesting um we got uh, the longest yard with burt reynolds this is the original longest yard i know we've seen the adam sandler one but yeah i didn't uh, know that it was um a remake <laughs> it is a remake and this is the original and i got this for 26.99 on 4k okay decided to watch that um, which, this is, which, what pile am I going to? we'll go to the, to the big Transformers Steelbook box set. So I did receive this one in from Paramount. Who's I, that on the front? Optimus Prime? Yeah, is that's that the, um, the Autobots, mm -hmm. right? That's the Autobot symbol. And then on the back is the Decepticons. I'm proud of myself for remembering know, that. Good job. I'm not a huge Transformers You're fan. Not. Um, and admittedly, I absolutely 100% would have not picked this up right? Uh, because I'm just not the biggest Transformers fan. But we right. do want to rewatch them all before we see the new one. Uh, so this is a good opportunity to do so in 4K. But I think this is a really nice steelbook set. It it's is. got individual like artwork on each on each steelbook. And wow. um, yeah, all the steelbooks just look amazing. So yeah, if I, I, was I a, thought it was a good set. If I was a collector, I could see wanting that. Yeah, but if I you're a like... fan, it's a no-brainer. I would grab this. For I don't know, sure. though. I feel like there were a lot of comments about people saying that it was garbage. Were they, they just talking about the movies themselves? Here's a problem people have with it, and I had the same problem when I reviewed it. Because, you know, when I'm unboxing something, I try to take into account that, you know, some people may not like some of the aspects about the releases. Um, even though I didn't pay for it, they're going to have to pay for it. Right. Uh, so there's no dividers in the steelbook, so that opens it up for damage. Scratching. Um that's really the only problem that I had with it because I, this is not like a lot of people are hoping for like a metal 10 box set, like the Rambo collection that I have behind me. That's not what this is. Oh, it I is, see. it is cardboard, but it's very thick, durable cardboard. Like if you feel right. it, feel that. Yeah. It's not like, it's not cheap at all. Like it's not like the it's screen factory like the, box sets, uh, like Fire 13, activity. Paranormal Activity. <laughs> it's not like those sets. Like this is a very, very like, um, Durable. well constructed durable uh box set so okay. kind of kind of comparable to like an aero video big box set to be honest so okay so that one was sent to you yes okay yes and the uh superman 4k collection right here was also sent to me by warner brothers i did a review for this now that one, one as well. is cheap <laughs> this one the box <laughs> yeah that, and that's what i'm saying because i think that this set right here that sealbook set was 139.99 which uh -huh. is very expensive that's very this Flimsy was paper. when this came out it's now down to like i think 85 but it was 110 dollars when it first came out and this is like nothing and this is like flimsy right bs like paper and warner brothers put this out but um yeah paramount did a good like job a, on that set like iconic you know they did a steel book set they did a big oh, okay. like steel book set and a metal tin so but this was gotcha. what they gave to everybody else but the price on it was just ridiculous i think um the last starfighter 4k i did get sent to me as well from arrow video uh miami vice the steel book from mill creek and we have uh deep impact was from paramount we got 80 for brady did you want to watch this one uh, kind of. That's not, Yeah, I figured you could watch that on a Saturday afternoon. That's where you watch all your chick oh, you flicks, wanna, right? Oh, you don't want to watch it with me? Oh, no, no. Uh, In the Cut. You should have watched In the Cut. It's a pretty good little thriller. Is it? Yeah. Okay. No, I thought it was kind of mediocre, to be honest. Uh, We got Shazam! Fury of the Gods on 4K. I know our daughter liked this our movie. Our daughter loved it, yeah. And uh, I need to watch it with her. Yeah. I need to watch that 4K with her. She enjoyed it in the theater. Uh, But that was sent to me by Warner Brothers from MVD. I got Redline. I got uh, Convoy Busters, and these are all available now. If I'm showing it off, it's available now. Shanghai Joe, uh, The Assassination Bureau, uh, L.A. Wars. This is a big month, guys. L.A. Wars, Warriors 2 from Arrow Video. We got Hand of Death from Arrow Video. A bunch of stuff I have never heard of. And In the Line of Duty. Here from 88 Films. This is an incredible looking box set. But let me bring the... I forgot to cover these two. Um, so I did get Crank sent to me uh, by Lionsgate. But I bought a additional copy because I'm going to give it away at the round table. Okay. Uh, so this was $21.99 for, um, for this steelbook. $21.99. Nice steelbook. It's a Lionsgate steelbook. So I'm going to pick these up regardless. Um, and then I got VHS 99. This was... Fourteen ninety nine. Okay. 
Um, okay. Oh, I hadn't seen this box set. So this is the weird uh, Al Yankovic box set. So I, I should have worn my Hawaiian shirt over here, but it's I didn't. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, very nice. So Umbrella did send this one to me, but I'm pretty sure this one came out this month. Um, yeah, I was a little... Um, yeah, we, we, we watched this and didn't really give our thoughts on it. I don't think we're going to do a review, so we could talk about no. it now. Yeah, I mean, I was looking forward to watching it. Yeah. But just the uh, route that they decided to take, like the tone, it was... What, what do you call it? It's it's a parody. Yeah. The, yeah. the way that they decided to go about his story, like... You can't even say that it's like a, what do you call it, a biopic? Because it wasn't even, like, accurate. Like, they made up stuff, and you, you didn't know what was real and what was fake. Yeah, him and Madonna are in, like, a full-on relationship right. in the movie, which so did not of, happen. Right. Because, um, I, I like, so all these things are happening in the movie, and I, I was Googling, like, did yeah. this really happen? And, like, it, you know, they talked but, about how they had things happen. I'll agree. I, I would want like just a straightforward biopic of Weird Al. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff you could probably dig into mm -hmm. there, especially with the Coolio thing that happened um, after Amish Paradise came out. Um, but this that's not what this was. Like maybe right. they'll make that later on, but this was just a pretty much a spoof biopic. Yeah. So it was, and it was just like, okay, I don't know. I didn't love it. I was just, I thought I mean, Daniel Radcliffe was good. Yeah. But yeah, I, I liked it for what it was. Like yeah. once you like got into, okay, the movie's not interested in being serious in any way. Like it's, right. it's just goofy. Um, I enjoyed it for what it was, but I, will I watch it again? Maybe, but probably not. <laughs> Maybe? Probably not. This is one I'll absolutely rewatch every Halloween season. Oh, yeah. Um, and that is Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey from Umbrella. Incredible edition right here. Now, we do have a review up for this one on the channel, so go check it out. I'll try to link it up there, maybe. So then go check it out. If you but, remember, yeah. Uh, we did review this one this past weekend. That one was a little a little bit of a surprise. A little bit of a surprise. Uh, go ahead and move all that up. Okay. I don't want you to reach across the table. You know. Me to move up. Um, so this first batch is from the uh, Kino Lorber sale. Okay. And I, I'm trying to add up everything in my head. I, I'm pretty sure that I got this whole haul right here for ninety five dollars. Okay. Uh, so you can add that on there, okay. and then we'll go through all the titles. I got Mo Better Blues which is a Spike Lee film. I got Transylvania 6 5000, which is a uh, Gina Davis, Jeff Goldblum movie from okay, 1985. And also, he was in Beetlejuice. And he was in Beetlejuice he as well. He was her husband. Yep. And is that, uh, I think that's Michael Richards as well. So yeah, this has got a lot of people in it. Uh, I definitely want to watch that one. Uh, Half Baked with uh, Dave uh, Chappelle. Have you seen Half Baked? That's a good one. Good um, comedy. Maybe... Uh, CB4, which is also some kind of like music mockumentary. I got The Hunter with Steve McQueen. I got The Card Player, which is uh, directed by Dario Argento. Okay. And I got Nobody's Fool by uh, with Paul Newman. So <laughs> is, that, is that how you feel? You're Nobody's Fool? I, I guess. All right. Is this part of it too? This is, uh, some, this is something else. Okay. So... This is this something is, else. This is where we're going to get into a little bit of the more pricier section of oh, the video. Yeah. Um, okay, let's do a let's do a, a total right but now. But not too pricey. Okay, go ahead and share the total. All right, so this is where we're at right now. Three forty nine ninety one. dollars So about three fifty. dollars yeah. And that's no tax. And we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Um, okay. So Diabolic DVD had a sale on these Vestron video titles. Now last year I was I had it I got it in my head I wanted to complete this line because it's, it doesn't take too much to do it. There's only thirty of them in that line. Okay. Um, and I was spending like thirty thirty five dollars on a couple of them last year to get them with the slip cover. Mm -hmm. Diabolic put them on sale for fifteen sixty. All right, which I thought was a good deal. So I got every single one that they had that I didn't have. Okay. And just was hoping that they came with a slipcover. I had a pretty good idea that they did, but I didn't know for sure. So I got the first four in. They came with a slipcover. So then I got the next four. Um, but all of these eight were 1560. So we can, you can add up 1560 eight times, I guess. Well, that sounds like torture. <laughs> uh, so I got Dog Dagon. Uh, which is an HP Lovecraft movie. You still adding up? Um, I got Layer of the White Worm. I got Gothic. 
I got the Warlock Collection. I got Slaughter High. Okay. I got Beyond Reanimator. I got Chud 2, Bud the Chud. <laughs> and I got Parents with uh, Cousin Eddie in it. See Cousin Eddie? Hmm. He was in that movie. All right, so what now... What is that about? I'm kind of interested. Maybe we'll watch it, you know? I think it'd be a fun idea for a video series on our channel if we just came in here and I said, go pick a movie out. And Mm -hmm. then you go over to the shelf and you pick one that, like you're at the video store. That's what I'm creating down here, babe. I am creating our own video store before your very eyes. Yeah. You can just come down here and pick a movie and then we can watch it and give our thoughts. That'd be a fun series. Um, I bought Meet the Fockers for three bucks at Half Price Books, but it was a double dip. I already had it. I was going to say. Uh, I did not realize already. I knew I had Meet the Parents. I didn't know I bought the sequel. And you already. don't have this either? I do not have Old School. I got this for three bucks. Um, actually, no, I think that this was. This was $4.99. This was $4.99 for Old School. Trying to make it. Make I it also got a, a DVD Club Dread um, on DVD for a buck. Pay no attention to the cover. Mm-hmm. Okay, we watched this together. I know we did. did uh, we? This is the uh, same people that did Super Troopers and Beer Fest and stuff. Um, Hell's Kitchen with Angelina Jolie. I don't. I didn't know what this was, but I got it because it, it looked interesting, and it was a, it? it was a dollar, <laughs> and it didn't have a Blu-ray. If a DVD doesn't have a Blu-ray, I go ahead and buy it. Mm. Um, I got VHS two for uh, nine ninety nine on Amazon with a slip cover, and then I got my best friend's wedding. It went down to I believe fifteen sixty, and I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. Uh, the four K, okay, because it was pretty cheap. All right, so is that it? Show them what we did. All right, so we're at five ten twenty nine. And I got add tax. So I thought I was going to do way better than that. 1.06. So that takes us up to $540.91. Yeah, I got to be honest because I was looking at the pile and I was like, all right, a lot of these are review copies and stuff, which people have already joked on me about. Oh, your review copy pile is getting bigger than your than your actually like spent hey, that's pile. that's good. Um, that's but, progress. So I was like, okay, I'm going to come in. Glow, I'm going to come in under but, 400, yeah. but I guess those Vestrons got me and the, the Kino Lorber sales stuff got me in. Uh, thank God my vinegar syndrome stuff you're didn't still, come in. You're still supporting physical media, you know? Uh, I am still supporting physical media uh, financially. Um, you know, I'm just getting other stuff in as well. I like to cover as much as I possibly can. So mm-hmm. if I actually spent my money on all this other stuff... Uh, we couldn't, we couldn't afford that. Could we? Maybe we could, but it would, it would, <laughs> it would be a little tighter for sure. Uh, you'd probably find a way to make it work. <laughs> I would. Well, I wouldn't buy a lot of it to yeah. be honest, not, especially not that transformer set, but, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, but how, how do you think I did? What's your opinion? I mean, it's not terrible. Okay. So I can do worse next month is what you're saying. Um, I, it's not terrible. I didn't, you know, love particularly one purchase that you made this month. Yeah. Um, I wish that well, you I'm would gonna, just Well, be... I'm not going to watch it. I'm going to wait till it, it goes for 200 and then I'm going to sell it. Yeah. I'll probably give it away or something. I just wish you'd be a little bit more, like, considerate when okay. you're, you're buying movies that pretty much seem like, you know, a porn or something. I got you. Yeah. Well, I'm not getting any Picorama titles. I can tell you that right now. But you know so what don't they worry are. About that. Of course I know what they are. They're on the freaking site when I'm browsing through stuff. How, how could I not? You, how long do you browse through them? Not very long. I, I'm not looking to get them. So I just what, not, what do they show I know on they the exist website? because they announce them every month. There's different ones they announce. What do they show? Um, Stuff that I can't show on YouTube on some of them. They show that stuff? Some of them do show that stuff on the cover, but we're getting we're getting off topic okay. here. Um, I just know that I have got a few. I've got the vinegar syndrome sales stuff coming in next month. I've got another bigger purchase that I pre-order that should be coming in. So I'm already in the hole going into June. I got to mm-hmm. fight to. In the hole. <laughs> I got to fight to keep myself uh, regulated in yeah in, also, in June of, of 2020 or yeah June. Yeah, and I mean June is a big month for movie. Like the movie theater, so we gotta, um, you know, save money. We're pretty for much movie spending one hundred and fifty dollars every time we go to the movie theater with the kids. It's getting ridiculous out there, guys. It's another reason why we purchase.
titles like Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I don't want to pay $150 to go see that in the theaters. Uh, but look, we appreciate y'all watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Uh, comment down below. You know, what do you think of my purchases? What did you pick up this month? List them all down below in the description. Also, subscribe to our channel, Mary with Media, for more great content. You know, I'm over there. But more importantly, Michelle's over there. And you guys love her. Um, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.